King Me King Me Yeah it's fight world hey Do you have what it takes to dominate control balance Yeah it's fight world hey for the mental capacity to absorb pain and apply pressure? What about the physical condition to put your will on another person? Most fighters have an everyday life, but live in another world. Fight world. What's up guys, my name is Jeff Denton, uh, we're here from Independence, Mississippi, and this is the Brawlers Den. almost two years now. I kind of grew up in it with my dad pro boxing, but we've really got in deep in the MMA because the boxing's not popular around here. But uh, yeah, we've been in about two years, and like I said, it's still a growing, growing uh, lesson for us. We still learn shit, you know, the good and the bads of it, and I still learn shit as far as leading these guys. We, we got a foundation of boxing, you know. We still got jujitsu guys. Ricky Pocky comes in here and coaches us with our ground game. I'm Ricky Park with the Brawlers Den, the Jiu Jitsu coach here, brown belt Jiu Jitsu. And uh, just here putting in, come in, putting in work on a Sunday morning. Everybody else is sleeping in, getting their snooze on. We're in here putting in work, putting in hours. We got him as part of the team. And uh, we got Mark Beckwith, who teaches us some of our wrestling foundation. And uh, basically, we're just still students of the game. It first started in my dad's living room, which is a big ass living room. And uh, like I said, our foundation is just hands, man. And, and we brawl, you know what I'm saying? We, we like to make shit nasty. We ain't no just taking, we are now, we grow, but we still gonna stick with the name because that's what, that's what started us. But uh, yeah, we just started off gritty and nasty and then we called the living room the den. We started from a den, bro. Like, for real, for real. We just, we, started, we just got our own building, shit, coming on up. So, that's where we got that from. But if you think we just hands now, you're in trouble. But I, I promise, we we respect the game. We grow from it. We know you can't just throw hands. So we, we, I love the ground game when I like the hands now. And my debut, I couldn't say that. But now I'm, I'm obsessed with the ground. So. Just keep keep look, keep looking at the name, and you're gonna be in trouble though. You find out the hard way. But what's the difference between Brawlers Den and the other gyms? It's just the the heart. Everybody, even to the youth right here, you know, uh, you know, everybody got heart. We just got a lot of heart. Mm -hmm. I push these guys to where they don't want to talk to me when they leave. Cause like I said, I love them. I love them as a friend. I don't give a fuck if they party this gym or not. I want the best for them, and we all heart, man. And and we still learning. And like I said, we'll bring guys in and learn shit, but you can go, to, well, I don't care what gym you go to, ain't no heart class. Heart class ain't at seven. You gotta be born with that. It ain't nothing that can be taught. Bro, we, we fighting anybody. Anybody that hit Jeff up, they ask me to fight. If they say I can fight, I'm fighting. I tell them I don't care who I'm fighting. I promise. I fight at 155, I'm running at 160, and I fight. I don't fight three fights at 170. I wear extra clothes to make weight, and I don't want all of them. But knockout. If they in here and they fighting out of our gym, they do got that. Ain't nobody quitting, ain't nobody laying and asking for the ref to stop the fight. You know, you, you gotta beat us. And then, like I said, I still respect all these other gyms, but to me, that's what puts us up there is we just all heart and gritty. I come from the mud, we, we ain't come out money. 
We had, we built our own. Nigga, they ready, they come to the gym with money. We ain't come with money. So, we working on growing. Me, me, Deshaun, and Cody Weathers kind of started it right off the top, just us three. And then Cody won his first fight on a one week notice just straight out the yard. And then we just kind of, we still grown, man. We got our own building. Can't nobody tell us when we can come in here, when we can't. It's 24 hours for the guys that's really, that's really involved in here, though. Yeah, you can, I can put out, I can come in here and sweep. So, like I said, it's, it's free access. And we just grow, man. Uh, we, we do hard work. We ain't got all the knowledge and shit a lot of other gyms got, but a lot of them other gyms got all the knowledge, but they ain't got heart. You know, we, we grew up off the streets. We ain't asked nobody for no ID or, or age and shit when shit got hard and tough times. So, to me, that's what puts us up there with them guys is when you get punched in the mouth, do you still remember that technique? Cause we got the heart, you know what I mean? Uh, we, we grind shit out. Ain't nobody gonna fold up here easy. So you, you gotta beat us. Ain't nobody laying down, asking no referee to stop it. Cause if this fight to death, I promise we're gonna be undefeated. Cause that's, that's why I try to find out through these guys. I try to beat the ass in here so that I don't go in front of a thousand people and get embarrassed. So, and it's all, it's all with good intentions. But yeah, we're just trying to grow, man, so. They're going to come in here and they want to learn. It's like a, it's family. We are family. Big dysfunctional family, but we're family, you know. To me, it's all a family. I, I let them make their own decisions. I advise them in the, in the things of taking fights, but I still let them make their own decisions. They're grown, and nobody that makes it big gets introduced out of what gym they're in. It's all about their name. And that's all, like I said, if they part of this gym or not, I'm pulling for them as a person, you know, so they can feed their family. Just still, by the time they get 40, they can have some shit they said they did in life. Because a lot of people get older and regret shit they never did in life. And this is just one more opportunity for people to just grow as a person, too, though. Yeah, there's a whole lot of people don't like us because cause where we come from, we ain't come with money, like I said, but we don't care. Personally, you know, we ain't got no problems with nobody. Uh, me, it's a student of the game. It's all characters in the game. You know, I, I talk shit in my fights, but I still respect everybody after the fight. I don't care who it is. To me, it's just, fighting's just fun, man. A lot of people got that ego. Everybody in the game think they're going to the big show. And to me, a lot of people need a humble seat. But I just respect the game. I talk shit, whether you whip my ass, I'll beat your ass, I'm gonna shake your hand after that. And to me, if you get mad, I talk shit, we can fight about it. That's what we in the cage to do. And then, like I said, win or lose, I'm gonna shake your hand. Cause to me, it's a lot more, it's a lot more important things in life than just cage fighting and you ain't gonna see but one or two really make it. And everybody's ego is still so caught up in them going to the big show that they don't humble themselves and think, man, like I ain't hating on nobody, but this probably gonna be it for you. You know what I'm saying? It's, uh, it's, 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 some, it's some talent out there, but me personally, I ain't got no personal problem with nobody in it. Cause me growing up, I done seen a whole lot worse shit than some people with some gloves on. So I don't really just care about who gonna whoop who when they see who. Man, to me, it's just for fun. And, you know, I, I make the best out of it because no matter what you think you did, my mom and dad didn't pay for no karate class. We, we got this shit out the mud and that's and this where we at now. So, yeah, I ain't got no problem with anybody. And it's all, it's all love on my end. So I'm, I'm a smile, you can call me a bitch from 10 feet. Just don't walk up on me and we good. We take anybody that comes along, anybody wants to come here and train. No egos, just come in here and want to learn. We don't care. We don't care your background, if you had trouble before, whatever. We take people's had trouble with the law before, whatever. It don't matter. You know, the past is the past. We're working on the future. And that's all we're here. Anybody coming in? Anybody's welcome. Like I said, as long as you got a good head on your shoulders and, and you're here to work and put your pride to the side, you're welcome here. Whether I like you, don't like you. Nine times out of ten, we probably gonna get along. You know, you put put your pride aside and your ego up, we're gonna get along. And uh, just put the work in, man. We just way out here in the country, so a lot of people don't want to make that drive. But around here, man, we growing. We we growing faster than I thought we would. But man, everybody's welcome. So just put the work in, and I'm gonna see if you got the heart or not. We're gonna find out in here. And ain't no beat around the bush. I'm gonna tell you if you gonna make it or if you ain't. So. I'd rather, I'd rather put my time in the guys that's going to put their time in instead of once a week guys just uh, for social media. So. Uh, we got Facebook, The Brawlers Den. Uh, we don't have an Instagram page, but you can follow me on Facebook at Jeff Denton or Instagram at Jeffro underscore TBD. Yep, and also on Snapchat, Jeffro underscore uh, TBD. My guy might be mad, it should be all right.
anyway. But it's all love, man. Appreciate Fight World coming out. I respect you guys. I fuck with y'all. Appreciate y'all making a long drive to fuck with us. So it's all love.